Wait. What? Hi, YouTube. Welcome to TieCraft. I've been gone a long time, but I come back to you now with a breakthrough in modern Minecraft physics. 100% predictable quantum tunneling. So I was working on an infinite redstone door for one of my server mates, but the gravity logic meant that sand kept breaking as it fell. I shrugged it off and moved on to a smaller project. I needed a secret exit for my desert base, so I started building smaller sand sliders and pumps when I saw this. At first I thought it was a side effect of the piston sending two signals, so I broke the component down further and further until I had something way cooler than a secret door. It was then that I realized. Minecraft has quantum mechanics. Given that the block is the smallest unit of measure, events on smaller scales can be described in abstraction with a probabilistic work form, but then when the position of the block is queried, snaps to an exact location, and cases run out of the front of the area, and they stay second in the collider, turns out to scale in the first barrier, but also evidence points to deterministic behavior on small scales. Meaning, we can choose the end state and teleport the block to any position with a planar distance of two meters and z position equal to or less than its starting position. Which is to say, in vanilla Minecraft, bedrock, in survival mode, you can teleport any block affected by gravity. You can teleport it two meters away, and you can do it entirely with a machine hidden under the floor or behind a wall. Do with this what you will, and let me know in the comments what redstone innovations you add onto this. This is only the start of what we can do with this new tech, and I want to see where this goes. This is all it takes, though. An empty dropper with a redstone signal coming in, I'm using a button, a torch coming off the side, a pair of observers looking into the dropper, one of them looking into the dropper, the other one looking into the other observer, and a pair of pistons, one to drop the permanent gravity block and the other to push the quantum tunneling block as it falls. Also, to be clear, the block that does the quantum tunneling is the one that starts above the piston. It moves one meter if there's nothing there, or two if something's in the way. I don't think we can make it farther, but I'm not sure about that. This anvil dropping form was heavily inspired by Doc M's recent anvil cannon on Hermitcraft. It's super cool, you should check it out if you haven't. As far as I know, it does not work on bedrock though, hence this much shorter range, but still instantaneously landing and completely hidden bedrock version that feels similarly magical and attainable for someone with only eight blocks of stuff. Thank you all for watching. I can't promise that I'll be posting more regularly, but I do have a large handful of videos half produced, including a couple mega builds that I've been spending my time on lately. Can't wait to share them. Hopefully they're sooner than this one was. See you all next time.